where you have to. Oregon. Oregon. Oh. Why do we care about Mormon? Well, because it was a big site for gold in the 1900, early 1900s, 1950s, 1960s, 1980s, and 1990s. True that. And then somebody came in and uh, super cleaned it. And now it's ripe and ready to be developed again. Balm Creek is the overall site. And yeah, that's what you're going to see today. What we got here, there was a cleanup that was done, which doesn't really impact anything except for your reclamation costs. This was not done by a mining company. This was done by BLM just because they had money to do it. So when you're mining out here, you're just going to have to pay a little bit extra reclamation costs. I'm looking for any remnants of the poor man's shaft up here. There was a cleanup of this site, so it might be a little bit hard to see. There's a little bit of a tail here, possibly, not totally sure. So with the cleanup, there's not as much to see as there probably was before, but I can tell you there is a cut out over here that was probably what they're showing as the poor man mine or shaft at the time. I would assume it was probably more of an adit. Over here we've got a building. I'm not sure what it is, but there is old bricks, old wood, old metal, and a little tiny bit of a miner's trash pile. So there definitely looks like there was something here. Probably was a portal at one point in time. It shows as a shaft on the map, but those are not always 100% accurate. That's definitely just not natural. Shit piles of beautiful ores here. You ready for it? The ores are very interesting so far. We'll get some good pictures, but there's lots of iron in it. Some really cool ores like this one right here. This is definitely what you want when you're trying to get looking for gold mines. You've got the nice dark colors in the iron. You've heard us say this before and we'll say this again. Gold rides an iron horse. So that's the ideal kind of ore we're looking for. I'm finding ores like this all over the place. So you've got a ton of gold right in through here. It's probably a little hard to pick up on camera. Nope, you got it? He's got it. So you've got some iron, some gold, some pyrite in there. It's a pretty heavy rock. And there's a lot of this over there in what I can see. And then I've also got a bunch of iron that's got more gold and pyrite in it and it literally just breaks apart and there's, it's just loaded. Uh, Jessica's picked up a bunch of samples here that you can see. So we've got sulfides going on here that you can see, you know, which is gonna be part of what you're gonna be getting out. But you've also got a lot of flake gold in here. Uh, we'll bring some of this back, get some assay work done on it. Um, these are just kind of some grab samples that we just picked off of what we could see. You can see part of a vein running through there. I don't know if the gold's going to show up very well, but uh, if you look right at the top here, you can see there's a lot of uh, pyrites and some of that same uh, sulfide stuff going on. So that gives you an idea of what you're going to be processing. Um, these are just some of the better grab samples that that Jessica's picked up here of kind of what we're going to be doing assay work on so you kind of know what you're looking at. There's a good example of all of your uh, really sulfide ores in there. So I would say this is not as heavily concentrated with gold as this one is, just by sheer weight, but definitely a great place to start looking for gold and mining gold if that's your thing. And you can see, hey look, it's a Canadian quarter for all you JV guys. Awesome. <laughs> Corey was thinking this might be a portal, which it's not, but you can definitely see that good outcrop. 
This is the type of thing a miner looks for when they want to find a mine. Perfect. More good ores. So this building, it's mostly just a concrete foundation right now. So you've got some old concrete boulders, um, not really boulders, concrete supports. They've obviously been moved. They weren't there to begin with. Look at the detail around that. Yeah, that's a vault. Yeah. Sure. Nice little spider web. Yeah, definitely a vault. Look at the size of the bearing on that door. Is that what it would be called? Yeah, hinge. Hinge, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, one more piece that ties together how much they're making. This is a nice little vault that was a vault here. So, I mean, you don't build that unless you got something really good that you're sitting in it for a while that you're not shipping out. So, good stuff. Mm -hmm. This is weird and sketchy, huh? Did you open it? Yeah. Okay. A couple of bricks. Oh, really? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's some geocacher's dream. Right. So these are all off the base of this, what I'm assuming was the mill. We need to shoot up right here. Yeah, all this up here is just tails. Tons and tons of tails. Super cool mill site. So we're above the bomb shaft here. As you can see, this definitely would have been an attic here. Um, you got some remnants of build up. Basically, it kind of looks like what they did with the uh, reclamation is just kind of everything closed and then uh, just planted grass seed. It's kind of interesting because if you look over here you can see there's enough water and stuff that you're feeding a ton of trees down here and there's also a ton of water from the mine itself it's coming out it's being treated down there so uh, you know there's there's already a lot of work done on this site which definitely makes it a higher value site All they're keeping out is uh, animals. The force is with me. This should be a big shaft. There she is. Let's see. All right, there you can see some old pipe. This has got to be the main shaft. Full of water. It starts filling up here. You can look up here too, you can see where they've kind of done some weird remediation. This is most likely a uh, just a big concrete cap on top of the shaft. And then this over it to make sure that uh, where it's here would be my guess we'll have to look I'm sure there's a good bit of documentation I think they're trying to play the water cleanup game there so if you look at it uh, everything that comes out of the water here is going to settle in this pond 
And then as it goes over there, if it's heavier, it probably drops into some of these. So yeah, you can see this dark red one here goes into that one. So then only the, the light water, all the heavy metals are gonna hang out in the bottom. And only the water at the top, the where it's light, is gonna run off. So if you're, so if you're coming here to do your work, you're uh, really, you've got this already kind of built in. Um, like we, like I mentioned before, your biggest cost is gonna be in remediating any damage that you do to the reclamation that's here but honestly I mean you could get in and uh, just cut a big pit out of this and it would look the same because you can see all I've done is thrown grass I mean if you look at this or rat and then look at this it's totally different yeah it looks like there's some pretty decent ones up here that I think we need to go to yeah, we'll look at these next and you're the, the claim that you're looking at or the, the claims the series of claims Basically, your, your load body is coming down this way and turning this direction, which is where the foreman vein picked up part of that. So your claims are going to cover all the way up past this ridge line, down this whole valley, and then all the way up over this ridge line. Take a look at some of the drone videos and get kind of a feel for uh, what we're doing and why we're claiming as much as we've got claimed up here. All of this pretty much looks like it could probably just be scraped and uh, processed if you wanted to do tails. But getting into that shaft is probably going to be your key. Right. Just figure out where those veins are. There was an access port on that shaft. Did you see that? No. And it's got one of the BLM keys on it, the kind of like almost flowery looking ones. Oh, yeah. So you could get with the BLM and actually get access to that, and you already have a secured site, a secured shaft. Yeah, for exploration, you could just get in there and see what's going on. So cool. That makes it nice and easy. Good find. Thank you. Yeah, so so yeah, for for smaller, for just startup exploration work, that would be perfect because you can send your geologists, you can send your other random people out here that you want to do your, your diligence work and they come out and they can actually get up in there and see what's in the workings and not just see what's on the surface here. So that is going to require that, you know, notice of operation to get in there. But on an exploration, it's going to be cheap, so. Very cool. We just finished surveying the Balm Creek site. This was a large gold operation, and it can be again for a mid to large mining operation. This is going to cover the main workings. You've got the Balm Creek shaft, the poor man shaft, and a bunch of unnamed ones in between that you're going to get with this particular claim. There is a very good road on the way down here. It's going to be easy to get any sort of machinery you need for your mining operation. Plus, you've already got the majority of the workings fenced off and gated. So it'll be easy to get a notice of operations approved, um, a plan of operations approved, and already have some mitigation in place to protect your workings from other people coming out here. Thank you.